thank you all for being here. Your Excellencies, Ministers of Health, Science and Technology, Education, and Minister of Gender. Uh, Your Excellencies, UNESCO Ambassadors uh, of Kenya, Angola, Mali, Chad, Gabon, Republic uh, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, and Congo, and Uganda. Uh, fellow researchers from across Africa, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the second edition of UNESCO Merc Africa Research Summit, uh, which is, we call it, Mars 2016. Merc, in partnership with UNESCO and African Union, uh, came together to organize this summit today to empower women in research and also to empower youth in research with a special focus on infectious disease and women's health. And uh, this is following our first year successful uh, UNESCO Mars, which we held in Geneva, Switzerland, last year. The, the objectives of this year's summit is, as we said, to empower women in research. And for the first time, to emphasize on this objective, we are launching the uh, Best African Women Researcher Award. And we also have a, we will have to launch for the second time the uh, uh, Best Young African Research Award. And I wish you all good luck tonight because uh, the results will be uh, published or announced tonight. To give you a background uh, why Merck supports these initiatives, let me mention that Merck is uh, motivated and guided by the values along uh, with its uh, responsibility toward African societies and scientific communities. And this is why uh, we linked, uh, the link was established with UNESCO to implement UNESCO Mars initiative with the aim to empower research in general and build the research capacity in Africa, which is, we believe, is a very critical for achieving the Millennium Development Goals. As you see, the current reviews show that the lack of science and technology and innovation capacity has hindered the attainment of uh, the uh, Millennium uh, Development Goals. That's why it it's really underlines the critical role of research. That's why we are here. The role of technology and innovation is positive and critical at every and, every and each step of the development. And of course, we, uh, uh, the greater emphasis has been put from all the governments on research and the role of technology and uh, science in implementing the sustainable development goals, uh, especially goal three, which is uh, aimed to ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being at all ages. And of course, to do that, it's only through supporting research and development of vaccines and medicines. That's why the dimension of scientific research is very required to implement this goal. So there is our two key, of course, areas, which is capacity, capacity which is needed to uh, conduct such high quality research in Africa, and also the mechanism and the translation, mechanism and policies and environment to translate this research to health solutions, to benefit all of us and we can have uh, you know, the benefit on the, uh, having uh, the vision of healthy Africa. As you all know, the summer theme this year, we said infectious diseases and women's health. And uh, um, we have informed that infectious diseases is very related to women. Why we selected this topic specifically? Because unfortunately, as you know, infectious diseases affect women uh, like uh, at a higher risk, women at higher risk for infectious disease. And it affects them more aggressively than uh, men. Uh, they have a longer term of disease and more aggressive term of disease due to um, biological differences and social inequality uh, in and also restrictive cultural uh, constraints and norms. Therefore, efforts to recognize and reduce disparities of health among women is very recognized and is very uh, needed. That's why we have created this initiative to empower women in research to improve women's health. So, um, as you uh, know, uh, as we mentioned before, that we, are, we have uh, going to have the best award for women research and we have five award winners from women and we also have uh, three awards from the young African researchers. Um, we have in the summer 200, more than 200 uh, researchers from across Africa, from French speaking countries as well as English speaking countries and Portuguese speaking countries and Arabic African speaking countries. We have from Senegal, Rwanda, Gabon, Benin, Congo, Cameroon, Gambia, Burkina Faso, Morocco, Niger, and Burundi. 
And we have also from English speaking countries from Namibia, South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Zam uh, Zambia, Tanzania, Uganda, Malawi, Liberia, Botswana, and Ethiopia. We have from Angola and Mozambique and from Egypt. So actually, it's more than 35 maybe African countries. So it's a great summit to interact and to develop network which is needed. And to emphasize this network, we are going to launch a community blog online, which is uh, uh, for all researchers to interact and uh, uh, share information and knowledge with each other, their peers in Africa and beyond. And this will be launched during the, uh, uh, this summit at dinner, at the award ceremony, and also at uh, the workshops tomorrow. We have to uh, emphasize that more than 60% of the attendees of the researchers are from women, and this is also a very uh, a good uh, point we made to make sure that uh, they are fully empowered. The agenda will focus on different uh, 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 topics, which is the relation with infectious disease and cancer, and untreated infectious disease and infertility, and other uh, uh, priorities of you know malaria, schistosomiasis, and Zika, and re a relationship with women health. In addition, of course, we are going to uh, have uh, ministerial panels to discuss different research uh, priorities. And I'm very happy that this, this summit attracted all these numbers, these high numbers of government officials, ministers, uh, to come and to share the vision how to improve research capacity in Africa. I wish you all a great uh, uh, day and to benefit and, uh, and to enjoy the summit, and I would like at the end to uh, send my regards and uh, my uh, uh, gratitude to UNESCO, uh, because without them uh, it will uh, never uh, happen, and uh, it's a great uh, honor to partner with UNESCO and with the African Union to uh, achieve this important, important objective, empowering researchers in Africa, empowering women in research. Thank you very, very much. I'll leave the floor to the keynote spe speakers, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you.